Hey guys, what is up? This is CD Mangaka here, and uh, this video is a big fat conglomeration of, well, num I can't really say conglomeration, more like it's just uh, one big collage, that's the word I'll use, a collage of just some uh, forest avatage games or, that I consider quickies when we're, they're under five minutes. They're about three minutes long, we push the enemy out of their spawn, it's just go, 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 alright, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, hold on, let me turn that game volume down. Ah, I don't want, I don't want to be distracted by that. <sighs> I was originally going to upload about two of these gameplay footages with them um, up in another commentary, but I I've decided against it. One because uh, I included a video clip that was not meant to be uh, uploaded. It was a uh, half of a sabotage game. Uh, the other half was didn't even record because my laptop had frozen uh, in the middle of recording it, and we had like I got like two AC 130s in the game. I went like 40 and six something outrageous number like that on Wasteland, but <laughs> it only recorded half, and I'm like, what's the point of posting up half a freaking game? And I was really upset. I mean, it really ticked me off. But and I've also and in that commentary, I bitched and I moaned about uh, this horrible sabotage team we were facing. Uh, I don't want, I don't know if I want to go into the story right now, but it, it was a whole. It was on high, high rise sabotage game. I noticed the full party on the enemy team. We had about five guys in ours. Freaking douchebags. <laughs> the whole team began noob tubing RPGs, explosives. Game went into overtime. We pushed back and forth, and I didn't have a rushing class on. I had a sniping class, and then I was expecting a, a, a game of randoms where I could, you know, just maybe get some more footage. But the lobbies merged. We were up against the party, and I was caught off guard. And I'm just like, oh bloody hell! And I'm up. So yeah, um, it, it it sucked big fat hairy balls, if you will. But I'm uh. Uh, we went over time. I knew we were going over time, and basically, um, we lost Frank Ogini. He had to go in the middle of the game. So it was us and two randoms. One guy, even one of the randoms, put on a mic and began to talk to us. He he's got to work on callouts. He's got to speak up a bit more. But he, he's a good player, and I, I like the guy just because. I mean, you know, he kind of fought with me through the fire, through the fire and flames, if you will. And you'll see him in a few videos. Even, but the other random was following orders because I knew he did it. Because I basically told our entire team it was myself, Yank, uh, Yanks. Dog, I dog, and a dud on my team, and I just basically said, guys, okay, just camp, all right, just I don't care. At this point, I don't give a shit. It's a douchey thing to do, but these guys are the bigger, biggest douches. So I just had everybody camp in our building, and how and sabotage. How that overtime works in sabotage is that you get two minutes to pick up the bomb and go plant, uh, but it's like certain destroy where you don't respawn. So you die, you're done, and basically it comes down to killing the enemy team. And I know this because the first Avatar game I played, uh, it was around the time where I originally got Modern Warfare 2 before I began the YouTube commentary business. And back in the day when I sucked balls, I went to a sabotage game. It was up against the full party, and they just camped their bomb. My team didn't support me. It went over time. I ran. I got killed, and I realized I didn't respawn. And I kept that in mind ever since. And so when we went over time, I knew, you know, if these guys made a push, we can just wait out the clock and just camp our asses off. Because if we went out there, I mean, it was just we were going to get it blown up. But the other team didn't seem to be aware of uh, how overtime worked, and so they pushed up like crazy, and we just fought them out. Uh, we killed about five of their guys. I, had, I picked up the bomb and ran down to their spawn. I couldn't get to the bomb in time, though. In about the last five seconds of the game, I'm by their base. Uh, I walk up a catwalk. I see this happening. A random without the mic, he begins to spray the last enemy team, the last guy on the enemy team. All we had to do was kill him, and the game was ours. Not enough time to plant. He spray him down with a Kimbo G18s. He's just murking him like crazy, okay? And you know what the hell happens? Guy goes in the last stand, last freaking stand, gets iframes so he doesn't get hurt, he doesn't get killed during it, and then the time runs out, it's a draw. And it was just bullshit. A noob team saved by a noob perk. That was just bull. And I mean, you know, we just, my whole team unmuted their mic, unmuted our mics and just let them have it. And we all got a message from the same guy saying trash. Trash, that was the best insult that motherfucker can come up with. I gave him a nice little piece of my own mind, though. <laughs> I just realized I, pro I, I promised I wouldn't go ranting on about this, but here I am ranting. Uh, <laughs> it will fit in the lecture I want to give. I, I basically wrote him up this message, and I blocked him, and I knew he didn't block me because uh, my guys sent messages, and they got messages back, too, if they didn't block him, so. <laughs> a dog, I dog, he just said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't know what Yank said. Dud and I were sophisticated, though. I can't remember what Dud said. I, I I wasn't paying too much attention. I'm sorry, Dud. But this is what I said. All right. This is I'm more or less going to be paraphrasing here. 
You couldn't beat a team one man army noob tubing. I think you need to reevaluate just how good you think you are. You can insult me all you want. It just proves you're as a sore loser as the rest of the cheap noob tubers out there. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, because I know I will. Enjoy my block list. That, my friends, is a fucking insult. That's three F bombs in one commentary. I know I'm, I'm I'm fired up about this. I'm just really pissed off. I mean, thinking about it makes me mad. It's just it's one reason why I don't want, I don't like the idea of my team noob tubing. Because for one, it you know it brings up the challenge. You know, oh you guys only won because you were freaking noob tubing. And I hate to piss people off too. I mean, I like challenging games. I like it when the teams walk away with the respect for each other. You know, I enjoy competitive games when the team's legit. And you know, it's close off and then they treat you with respect. I love close games. I really do. And even if we lose, I mean, it was a fun time. You know, and I mean, a team that can respectfully say, dude, that was awesome, you guys are good too, instead of like, you lost, you lost, I'm like, you fucking faggots. And that's the one thing, it's just that the public community is full of people like that who are total assholes to other people. I can only imagine what some of the people who do game battles, like people who are serious about games, I don't even want to think about that. Sure, the people who respect you, but I mean, from what I've heard from Woody's Gamertag, it's just, there's, all, there's a lot more shitheads than nice guys. And... Uh, and I'm just not interested in game battles. And I mean, we, I've been over this, so let's move on into a different topic. Kind of. So why am I going off into this? Because I'm just trying to, I don't know, get a few things off my chest. And it's a healthy expression, you know. Guys, I'm going to be, this is going to be a bit of a moral lecture. You can roll your eyes, you can stop the commentary right now, or you can maybe listen and get some array of sunshine and hope. But, uh, I mean, I've been I've been quite a the psychiatrist to one of my, to my best friend off the wall, 18. He he's going. He's had some issues with himself, he, a lack of self confidence, uh, being a, va a very big one. And I've been trying to pep him up, and I finally kind of got through to him. You know, just little things to help him kind of think a little more positive about himself. And he seems to have bought onto it. You know, he's trying to do it. You know, and I'm and I'm happy for the guy. You know, it's like good. Finally, you're applying yourself to this. I'm proud, man. So, but let's see. Oh, quick note: M16 red dot sight. God for champ for the win. Yeah. I'm debating whether or not I like the M16 or the FAMAS more. I like the sound of the FAMAS a bit more, but the M16's just gotta... It seems to draw people a little faster. That was a bad claim where I should have covered the back of the stairs instead of behind there, because no one's gonna flank around here. Anyways, but it's just... Don't be afraid to talk to about things to people, you know what I mean? But, you know, if, if you have a best friend or if you're close with any relatives in your family, you know, just vent off them, you know, use them to kind of bitch and moan about it. And then talk about things that, you, that they understand, you know. If you got a good gaming friend, bitch to them about the assholes on the enemy team, uh, you know, the other day, you know. If you got people who, you know, who you've been best friends all your life, you know, go talk about how frustrating it is that you don't understand this and that. And then just try to, you know, think through some things, I guess, is the uh, thing I'm trying to say. You know, because, I mean, there's a reason for every action. You know, like, I'm going to give you an example here. Um, back in, I'm, uh, I'm going to use my crush here. You guys are, you know, getting infamous about this. She's on my mind today, name because I saw her while I was on my way to class. She was wearing this plain white t-shirt, and I was just, uh, <laughs> I wish my iPod was playing Heaven Sent by Hinder, because, I mean, that's what I was feeling. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'm getting corny here, but it's just... You know, but I mean, everybody, every, everybody has a reason for doing something. Back um in April, it was April, yeah, it was April. We were preparing for the AP World Test, and we were also at the time doing class registrations for um our junior year, which is the year grade I'm in right now. So, but I, I was talking to Mr. Rice, my AP World History teacher, um about yeah, I I had a TA paper. I was just making sure I had a few questions filled out. <laughs> you know, I had a few things right, and I asked him a question. I walked back to my desk, you know, and uh, I noticed a certain pair of legs well, follow me back, and um, as I stood up my binder, putting my thing away, I had um, Animal Eye become in my ears. Three days grace for the win. What? M9 Rafika for the win too. I hope you guys like that. I'm trying to get out of the habit of using shotgun secondaries, go machine pistols or something, just to give you guys something new. But I took out my iPod earphones, and for the first time in about maybe two, three months, she, uh, I, <laughs> my crush actually kind of had a conversation with me. Uh, she wanted to see what my schedule was, and she tried to make some sort of, uh, you know, just connect me with me way, you know, like, oh, AP Psych, yeah, I'm going to try and take that senior year. I was in cold shoulder mode. I just gave her the best grumpy house look I could and went, huh. Oh. And then I put my earphones back and went back to my music. <laughs> felt so good at the time. Felt so good. You know, and, you know, but <laughs> I paced around my room, like, why the hell did she do that? 
Why would she approach me like that and just talk to me right out of the blue? You know, I, f I figured... I figured, you know, that she caught on that I just didn't want to talk to because... You know, but as I learned a couple months later, uh, right around August where I held, a, I had a, my, a bunch of my friends go on a hike and I got my one, a good friend of mine to get her to go on the hike. Um... I just, you know, I kind of, he kind of let it slip that she thought I hated her due to the cold shoulderness, you know, and I, I was not expecting that. So, uh, but then it all kind of made sense, you know. I mean, I flashed back, you know, I mean, if anything, she had heard, like, a rumor or something that I had recently broken up with my girlfriend. It was around the time where I did break up with my girlfriend, uh, where we broke up with each other. Something like that. It, it, complex situation. I got on her dad's bad side, and it's high school. That's a very bad way to start off. And she was very, very sensitive about hurting people, and she didn't want to get me. She didn't want me to be hurt, so she broke up with me. Yeah, I know the logic makes a lot of sense as well. So, <laughs> but whatever. It's you live and you learn, you move on. And I'm okay. But I, fi I figured around the time that I, I think she had heard that I'd broken up with my girlfriend recently, and you know she wanted to m maybe thought I could use a friend or something like that. And then she saw me, you know, talking to Rice about the schedule, and she thought, well, I could probably try connect him. And then, you know, when she was greeted by a cold stare and a... Uh, <laughs> I think that kind of just kind of shut her down. And then a couple more times later, a couple encounters where I was also, again, cold shoulder. I turned my back to her when she tried to give me a little, one of those, you know, one of those, like, acknowledging nods. You know, oh, there you are, as a person. And I just went, Patoo! duck to the back, bitch. <laughs> and then another time, I sent out an email to everybody, and she responded, and I didn't reply back. And I think after that she just assumed I hated her just because of my cold mannerisms. Then my good old friend had to let it slip. <laughs> the most interesting thing about me just wasted. Nightmare doesn't hate you. What? He doesn't? Ah, uh, damn you, West. Damn you. Oh well. Oh well. It's fine. Uh, I've had a. I've had a good conversation with her. Hey, I, I told you guys about that in the vlog, but now I'm sounding freaking pathetic. I'm talking to you guys about girl shit. <laughs> I mean, off the wall and I, we've been trying to, you know, I've been trying to coach him, you know, trying to get a girl or two, but, but you know, he, he's got a, he doesn't look, he, he, he does, he's not too, I'm going to be brutally honest, he's not too great in the looks department, he's not fat or anything, it's just that he's got a lot of acne to his face, and he's got a couple other features that make him just, uh, he stand out in a negative way, I mean, I remember when I first met him that I, I he looked really weird and that kind of put me off, but once you get past that and you get used to it, I mean, he is an awesome guy, he really is, I mean, the man has, I owe so much of my mental sanity to that guy. AJ, dude, you are the bomb. Okay, I'm going to point this out. I did say in my crush voice, Nimer hates me. Nimer is one of my names. And what do I mean by that? It's one of my three names. You know, it's, we got first, middle, and last name. But I ain't going to tell you what my, um, uh, if it's my first or my last name guys who I play with know what my first name is, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ask them to keep their mouth shut about that. I, I go by M Nimer, though, quite frequently. You know, so, I mean, I'll leave you guys guessing. But there, there's a little piece of personal information. But, uh, if you could, just refer to me as CD, but, <laughs> right here, we just go to town on these guys. I get my chopper right about, uh, in a minute or two. But, ah, uh, there we go. I mean, it's healthy just to just talk to people, just talk to things about, talk about things to people that you know. Just get it off your chest, kind of think through stuff, and try to understand. I mean, don't hold things down because otherwise it'll just stay inside and eat you up alive. You know, just vent if you have to. You know, go talk, go bitch. You know, go you know, swoon, go drool, do whatever. Just find a friend and just kind of sit down and just talk. Just healthy release of emotions, I and mean, that will keep you insane. All right. That's my little bit of guru advice. Running out of time here, guys. I wish I could talk more, but I can't. Later.